Welcome to the UK Made Easy podcast, where we help aspiring international medical graduates like yourself achieve their dreams of passing their PLAP2 and practicing medicine in the UK. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the UK Made Easy podcast. My name is Saif and in this episode, we're going to talk about a term that is still confusing to many doctors. We're talking today about the term next of kin what it means and why is it important to understand what are the rights of the next of kin. To start off, a next of kin on hospital form is the person nominated by the patient or identified by the hospital as the person who is closest to them, right? So that's the definition of what a next of kin is. Now, the question that's very important to raise at this point is, does it have to be a relative? right? Does there have to be a blood connection between the patient and the next of kin? And I had to check funeralguide.co.uk for an answer for this. And what it says is that if the patient is well enough to identify their own next of kin on the hospital admission form, then this can be anyone they choose, right? It could be a partner, it could be a close friend, and it does not have to be a relative. That is, if the patient is well enough. Now, in the instances where the patient is not well enough, they're unconscious, they're confused, they don't have mental capacity, for example, then the hospital may define the next of kin on the basis of the family members they are able to trace at the time. Typically, they start with the closest relatives first. Okay, now that we've cleared that up and we understand now what next of kin means, let's talk about what are their rights at the hospital. So generally speaking, the next of kin are the people who are kept directly informed of the loved one treatments. They cannot make any decisions over a loved one's treatment in a hospital or a hospice. So they are kept directly informed. However, they do not make decision okay it's always between the medical staff and the patient other things that the next of kin might be involved in uh, apart from being informed about the course of the condition or the course of the treatment they could be consulted over organ and tissue donorship right and about post-mortem if necessary in addition to making arrangements for the funeral Uh, to be taken care of. Now, it's very important at this point to mention that um, just as much as we talked that the next of kin does not have the right to be involved in making decisions regarding the care plan if the patient wishes to nominate one of their next of kin to take decisions regarding their care, think about advanced dementia, for example, then that would require a legal document called lasting power of attorney. Now, that's a legally binding document and it enables whoever is nominated to take decisions when it comes to uh, care of the patient. So that's as far as you need to know when it comes to the PLAP2 uh, examination. Of course, there is more details to the next of kin. You can always go to funeralguide.co.uk um, to get much more information. But for the time being, I think that should be enough uh, to help you handle uh, yourself in an, in the examination and understand exactly what are the rights of next of kin. Thank you very much for uh, listening and I'll see you in a future episode.